Anita Zuzahana. I'm from Nova Scotia, Canada. I'm 13 years old. CMTC really helped me become an actor because, you know, there's so many agents and casting directors, managers, uh, always watching you when you're at CMTC. So it's not always about the competition, but how you react with other contestants and um, really if they see if you love it or not. When you go into CMTC, it's um, less nerve wracking than you would think. It's a very calm environment. And because you can socialize with other contestants, it really makes you feel like you're not the only one, like, you know, being nervous when you're in line for a competition or, oh, thinking, did I do well in, the, um, in a certain thing? But uh, it's really comforting, and I, feel, I felt like I was very safe when I was at the competition, not like I was being judged. Um, it was just a very fun experience overall. And after CMTC, shortly after, I got a huge movie. For me, it was very huge. It was a lead part in a movie called Psycho Gorman. So excited for everybody to see it. It's going to be a very, very interesting film. When I went to CMTC, um, the first thing, one of the first things you do is you go into a little, like, uh, I guess you call it like a little meeting, but with everybody from CMTC. And the spokesperson for that um, particular year was Charlie. And he was talking about how if you, if you really feel something, you need, to, you need to pursue that dream and really go full force with it. And so I looked at my mom and at the time I was only put in a singing competition, a dancing competition, and I think it was called reading. And I looked at her and I said, I think I need to put myself in every competition there is. And um, some of those competitions were the next day. So there was a monologue that was like the next morning at 10 and I had to memorize a whole monologue. Um, so we kind of debated whether or not I was going to do that, but I did end up putting myself in every acting competition there was, and I ended up winning first place in almost everything and the Actor of the Year Award, which I was very, very glad about. It's so, it's so pure and it's, it's exactly what happened. I love uh, sharing it with other people because at first, you always think, well, I mean, what are, the, what are the chances? But, I mean, if you really love something, you got to go for it. I didn't even know um, acting was something I really wanted to pursue before CMTC, before that one weekend that, that changed my whole life. So many, um, I've gotten so many opportunities. I've worked on a lot of uh, big films, um, not as... Uh, you know, not as many, but um, I definitely would say the highlight of my career was filming my movie, Psycho Garman. Uh, the people on the set were just the sweetest thing ever. And, and you know, it was my first movie ever. And I was, I mean, I was really nervous, but they really comforted me and they were incredible. They were amazing. I was on set for about a month and a half, a month, um, and it was very natural. Like, I, my character is more of a, a smart, witty, kind of sassy, so my mom said that I didn't really have to act um, as much, <laughs> but uh, it was really fun. I had an amazing co-star. His name is Owen Meyer. He was my brother in the movie. He's amazing. We really, really bonded like really quick. Um, you would even see us sometimes fighting like brother and sister. Like it was like a really emotional connection. And I was, it was like leaving my family after we wrapped. It was it got very emotional for sure. And I don't get emotional very often. And I was very, very sad, but um, hopefully we get to see each other very, very soon. For live auditions, when you go in and you meet people, it's very important to be more professional and not, you know, you have to have a very nice posture and you only get one try for a live audition. Um, so it's a little bit more, uh, not stressful, but a little bit more difficult to me for, um, in-person interviews, uh, auditions, but if you are doing it at home and you feel it's really, um, 
a script that you enjoy and that you could see yourself doing, I really recommend getting an, an acting coach. Mine is actually Caroline, uh, Carolyn Liam from CMTC. She, I did an audition yesterday that she helped me with. And I feel like they just think of things that you would never think of putting in the script or emotionally or, or just changing your facial expression. You never think of doing things like that. And they always have something to just put your audition that much higher up, I feel. So what I usually do um, is I get my script and then I read over once the day that I get it. Usually it's right before I go to bed. And I feel when you, right before you go to bed, what you read off that script, it like stays m way more in your memory than if you just read it in the middle of the day and then just kind of forget about it. Cause right before you go to bed, that's the last thing you're going to remember. So even if you're, you don't even notice, but sus subconsciously it's going to go more in your brain than any other time of the day. So I read it once at night, then let's say it's, I got it Monday and it's due Friday. I read it like uh, two times uh, next day, three times the other day. And then I just kind of keep on reading and reading and reading. And then I actually usually never have it memorized 100% right before I go and film it. But I feel like that's how I get the better takes because um, it just new ideas like come up while you're saying the words or acting the script. So um, definitely just reading it as much as you can and trying to memorize it almost 100%. Um, and no, no stressing about it because you can do as many takes as you want. You can, you can take an hour on the script, 20 minutes, three hours. It really depends um, when you think you get the perfect take. Uh, now more than ever, it's really important to like ace all your self tapes. And I've had, during quarantine, I've had like, I would say like six to 10 auditions just during these like uh, two, three months. Uh, I've recently got a new um, agent. His name is Ryan from Characters from CMTC. He's really amazing. Um, he really um, helps me get more jobs in, you know, my part of the you know, the world, um, more like I got a Halifax gig, which is, you know, not that far away from me compared to flying to Toronto, flying to Tor New York, uh, you know, so you can just, you know, drive uh, to Halifax and, uh, those are really, really fun. So yeah, definitely for your self tapes, don't be unsure of what you're saying. Definitely take your time to read your script and learn it and, Put your own little twist on it because that's the only way that the casting directors and the, everybody that's uh, there are going to remember you if you're memorable. My favorite part of being like an, an entertainer, if you will, is definitely getting to express yourself because I feel a lot of people have difficulty with that to really express themselves. But I feel throughout acting, singing and dancing, you can, I definitely express myself and, um, you know, in acting, it's more of you put a character on for um, television or whatever you're doing it for. Um, but singing and dancing is where I, you really, you know, I always put my own spin on things, but singing and dancing is definitely um, where I express myself the most. So probably that. This is actually very difficult still to this day. I feel if you really love something though, as much as I love, you know, singing, dancing and acting, you definitely find the time. Um, and f for my family and for me personally, school always comes first. It's very, very important to have an education, whether you want to be an actor or even, you know, continue schooling. But I mean, it's really important. Education is definitely number one. But I feel I've been trying very hard to balance that, especially now with online school. It's very easy to push aside something and put one thing on. But it's, um, it's not easy, but I think it gets easier after a while.
Well, obviously self tapes is what I do 90% of the time anyway, because I live so far away. Um, so self tapes, definitely, uh, singing. I'm, I mean, you are not going to catch me not singing for an entire like five hours. I'm always singing whether I have music or no music, or sometimes I just ask to go for car rides to just put music on and sing. Um, and dancing, I feel like it's the same way. Kind of, you just, I'm always um, learning new dances and, you know, tr rem seeing if I still remember those dances from what, three months now, you know, so I'm always practicing. Um, I think it just kind of comes naturally as well. I just kind of catch myself dancing in the middle of my kitchen. Um, but um, other than that, yeah, self tapes and then dancing and singing just kind of kind of happen, I guess. <laughs> So it's much more, I feel like it's much more difficult for me because I feel like when I was in Toronto for a month, I was getting new gigs while I was in Toronto for Toronto. Um, and Toronto is a very big hotspot for this whole thing. It's a, like one of the main parts of Canada um, for acting, I feel. So definitely, a lot, I think a lot of people think that, oh, you know, self-tapes, they're not really going to look at that. But I promise you, I promise you, they do look at every single audition, whether it is live or it is on a self-tape, because I got Psycho Gorman on a self-tape. And um, sometimes you do have to take a little risk and fly out to different places. I flew out to Toronto just to meet the casting director. Um, it wasn't really sure that I got the part yet, but it paid off, definitely did. I got the part and um, definitely just... Um, putting yourself out there as much as you can. Uh, social media is the craziest thing ever, especially now, more than ever. I mean, everybody's on social media, everybody's looking. Um, so definitely just putting yourself out there is going to make, make people notice you more, I feel. People are not always nice and they're not always supportive of what you do. But I think as long as you believe that you're meant to be doing this, I think that they'll come to realize that you love it and that this is what you're meant to do. Um, so definitely when you get that one no, don't, don't think that, oh, that's the last thing I'm ever gonna do. Cause they say you need a hundred auditions to get one job. And I, I believe that it's very difficult. Um, but once you get that little, the, even that little job, they have one line. It makes you really feel um, accomplished. So definitely don't give up. Even if there are people saying that you probably shouldn't do it or you can't do it, definitely don't give up. And um, keep on working hard. Always, always working hard. That's really hard, actually. Um, I would say definitely uh, the fact that you can speak to the judges not always not you know not annoyingly but you can always you know just you know just a simple hi in the in you know in the hallway is always nice um from the judges that it, it makes you feel not so much a contestant and just you know something that you love doing and i feel that's a very big part of it when you especially for children when you start thinking about it as a job that's when you have to realize like, oh, is it really a job? Because to me, it's just something I love doing for fun. And it just ha so happens to be a job. But I really, really think that for child actors, you need to think about if you really want to pursue this or not. And if you don't, don't go for it because it's, it's not going to work out if you don't really want to do it. Don't hold back. Don't be afraid to embarrass yourself because I know 110% that I embarrass myself on so many levels and that's exactly how the judges remembered me because, um, you know, you're funny and you make them laugh. And I remember one of the competitions that I really remember very vividly was the commercial uh, where you had to make up a commercial. See, we didn't know that, that we had to make one up. We thought it was given to us. So about two hours before, my mom came up into the room. I was getting ready for the competition. And she said, oh, um, 
you have you have to make your your own commercial and i said what she said yeah you have to make your own commercial and the competitions is like two hours away so you might want to get started on that and she didn't really want to help me because she wanted me to do it so i was looking in the hotel room for everything in my bag that i can make a little commercial with and i think i end up doing it on a make product and it was about being a mermaid it was ridiculous <laughs> And the judges loved it, and I won first place with that competition, and I was very proud with that one, because I got that one in a very short amount of time, and I know other contestants were practicing that for months or weeks or um, even days <laughs> was more than me, so I was very, very, um, n not even happy, but I think throughout that whole competition, I really impressed myself, and that's what I was really proud about, for sure. Honestly, if I were to go into the competition again, I don't think I would have done anything differently than I had.